Ezra Miller is now in a dark corner. Under the pressure of recent events, some of their past scandals and controversies are coming back to the light. Will Ezra Miller be able to clear their name after all this, or is this how their career ends for good? The dark times begin. Undoubtedly, Ezra Miller is a familiar name. According to the website Shortlist, Ezra Miller was the first queer actor that ever played a superhero once he joined the DC Universe, where they played the first role of The Flash in the movie Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice. Later on, they appeared in movie hits such as Justice League, the CW series Arrow, and the Fantastic Beats franchise. They're also known for their role in The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which they filmed in 2011. And it's exactly the year of 2011 which seemed to be both a good and a bad year for Ezra Miller. Right after they managed to come back from the initial controversy surrounding one of their roles, they were back with a new one. The Perks of Being a Wallflower is considered to be their breakthrough, but it didn't happen without trouble. In 2011, while filming the movie, the star was pulled over by the police in Pittsburgh, and after the police concluded a search on them, Ezra Miller was arrested for the possession of illegal substances. News articles from that time report that they were holding onto about 20 grams of the highly seeked substance. At the time of their arrest, Ezra Miller was just 19 years old and wasn't legally an adult yet. Back then, Ezra Miller didn't suffer many consequences as a result of the accident. They were let off with two counts of disorderly conduct and a fine worth of $600. They were also given a long lecture about their influence on the young extras of the movie, one of whom they later revealed was a daughter of one of the police officers. Shortly after the incident, Ezra Miller told the New York Magazine, I don't feel like there's any need to hide the fact that I smoke pot. It's a harmless herbal substance that increases sensory appreciation. The star was also very vocal about the legalization of this substance, arguing that it's mostly useful, and that some of the strongest bridges in Asia were built using the substance. Despite the scandal slowly fading into the shadows and being almost forgotten about, it would only start a string of controversies that threatened to jeopardize their career. The Reykjavik Incident Fast forward to more present times, one of Ezra Miller's biggest scandals, the one that made numerous headlines, happened in April 2020. On April 5, 2020, a video where Ezra Miller appeared to hold a woman in a chokehold in a bar in Reykjavik, Iceland surfaced online. As it usually happens on the internet, the video wasn't taken seriously at first, as a lot of people thought it was a joke or a meme. Twitter was full of people taking this situation as a lighthearted joke. Unfortunately, it couldn't have been further away from that. A source at the establishment that video was taken confirmed to Variety that this was a serious accident that happened and that Ezra Miller was escorted off premises. The video, which has long been deleted from the original source but can be found on YouTube, shows Ezra Miller saying, oh, you want to fight? That's what you want to do? To a woman who appears to be playing into the joke as she prepares herself for fighting. The video abruptly stops as the person behind the camera realizes that this doesn't appear to be a joke anymore. According to Variety, the incident took place around 6 p.m. on April 1st at one of the bars in central Reykjavik that the actor frequents whenever he visits the city. According to an anonymous source from the bar, the incident happened after Ezra Miller was confronted by a group of fans who were described to be quite pushy. This, of course, angered the actor, which resulted in them letting out their anger on the innocent woman. Reykjavik Metropolitan Police confirmed that no one called law enforcement to the place of the incident and that no injuries were reported to the police. This issue not only shocked a lot of people and fans of Ezra Miller, but it also put a lot of uncertainty on their role in the movie The Flash. Allegedly, in the beginning of this incident, Warner Brothers were very hesitant about the release date, which had been set for 2022. The release date was pushed to June 23rd of 2023. The backlash Ezra Miller received was intense, and at one point fans of the DC Comics wanted Grant Gustin, who played The Flash in the television series, to replace Ezra Miller. A year after the incident, in April 2021, it was announced to the world that Ezra Miller would be addressing the Reykjavik incident in the near future. Unfortunately, it's been two years since that happened, and Ezra Miller has not addressed what truly happened that day. And who knows if they ever will? Career in ruins. None of these scandals previously mentioned compare to what went down in March of 2022. Since it's still been ongoing, a lot of people think that this could be the end of Ezra Miller's career overall. According to CNN, Ezra Miller was arrested on Monday morning, March 28th of 2022, in Hilo, Hawaii. They were taken into police custody after they were involved in an incident at a bar, and later they were charged with disorderly conduct and harassment. According to the Hawaii County Police Department, Ezra Miller became agitated when the visitors at the bar decided to sing karaoke, to the point that they started yelling foul words and insults at the visitors. It was reported that they also grabbed the microphone from a woman that was singing karaoke and later lunged at a man who was playing darts at the time. Although they were taken into custody, they managed to leave after the price of $500 for the bail was paid. Now, this is where things start to get a little weird. Allegedly, Ezra Miller was staying with a Hawaiian couple in their home, and based on the reports, they were the ones who bailed him out of police custody after the karaoke incident happened. 
Their act of kindness turned sour pretty quickly, because Ezra Miller had a restraining order filed against them by the Hawaiian couple quickly after. The couple reported that the actor burst into their bedroom and threatened the male victim by saying, I will bury you and your wife. On top of all of this, the couple also claimed that Ezra Miller stole their belongings, such as a social security card, wallet, passport, driver's license, and bank cards. The trouble followed the actor since the beginning of their stay in Hawaii. As stated by the Associated Press, they had the police call on them 10 times since March 7th of 2022. Most of these were minor incidents, like filming people at a gas station, refusing to leave the sidewalk area of a restaurant, and getting into arguments with different people. On March 30th of 2022, Warner Brothers and DC executives held an emergency meeting to discuss what to do with Ezra Miller's future projects with the studio. Rolling Stones reported that the people who joined the meeting agreed on hitting pause on any future projects with Ezra Miller, including any possible appearances in the DC Extended Universe. An anonymous insider also shared that the actor would experience frequent meltdowns during the filming of The Flash. Although the insider expressed that they were not violent outbursts or yelling, they did share that Ezra Miller would simply lose it. They said, Ezra would get a thought in their head and say, I don't know what I'm doing. Once again, fans of the DC Universe have been very vocal on social media about replacing Ezra Miller by Grant Gustin. Since the situation has happened just recently, no one can tell what's going to happen next, and if Ezra Miller will ever be able to come back from all his scandals. Controversial Role Before Ezra joined the world of superheroes and fantastic beasts, they played in movies like The Perks of Being a Wallflower or We Need to Talk About Kevin. It was exactly with this movie that Ezra Miller shocked a lot of people. The movie We Need to Talk About Kevin was released in 2011, and they played the role of a teenage school shooter in the movie. Their character was described as a seeming sociopath from birth who is eerie, terrifying, and exciting in a way that's almost incomprehensible given his age. Surely, playing the role of a teenage school shooter isn't an easy thing, and it's safe to say that a lot of actors would have difficulty with executing the right emotions. It seems like this wasn't the case for Ezra Miller. During an interview with Vogue, the actor shared that once they went over the script, the role just seemed true to them. They said, Even though he's remote from myself and a lot of sensible, empathetic human beings, he made sense to me. What a lot of people found wrong with their statement is that Ezra Miller expressed they could truly understand the motivation within Kevin and the false justification Kevin embraces in order to commit the horrible things he does. They said, I'd been thinking about it for two years prior when I first read the script because I felt such a strong compulsion to get this role. Ezra Miller then shared that it was difficult to keep themselves in a place where they'd been continually shutting down the mechanisms of their own human empathy. The star further shared that one of their close friends watched We Need to Talk About Kevin, and once the movie was over, they decided to go out for the night. Ezra Miller continued, I thought we were having a fine time, and my friend was like, listen man, I gotta go. It's nothing personal, I love you, but I'm just having a really hard time being around you. It's hard to say if it was because of Ezra Miller's way of acting or because he seemed to appreciate and understand his role of Kevin a little too much. What do you guys think about this situation? Should they be replaced by someone else? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye!